In mid-November, Dell had its latest storage forum in Paris, and while in the City of Enlightenment, I was able to grab some of Dell's key storage executives for brief interviews. Brett Roscoe and I were able to spend a few minutes talking about the PowerVault systems and their place in the market. Brett, it's good to see you. So um, obviously you had some key announcements this week. Perhaps you could just run through those briefly for people who weren't able to be here. Um, and at the same time, I'd like you to talk a little bit about the, the relevance of PowerVault, your business, um, to both Dell storage and, and more broadly to Dell as a whole. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, you know, we've had a lot of great news around my area of the business. Uh, our, our, you know, one of our big announcements was a software refresh on our PowerVault MD3 line, right, which is our uh, kind of value performance leader in e external arrays. Um, adding a lot of great functionality to that, you know, thin provisioning, dynamic disk pooling, um, uh, you know, additional iSCSI-based replication. So a lot of really cool features. That product continues to add more advanced features over time, and what you're seeing is uh, that product becoming um, more feature-rich as, uh, you know, Ecologic Compellent uh, lead in features, that product uh, tends to follow, you know, within a reasonable amount of time, providing those features to customers in a more value, price-oriented kind of model. So it's a great product for us, a lot of uh, great traction with that product, and great to have this refresh on it. We also had um, some uh, additional product announcements around our data protection line. So our data protection portfolio has gotten very broad. We've we now have 75,000 customers on our data management, data protection platforms, and we just, now, we, uh, just announced the DL4000, which is our appliance-based uh, solution for our AppAssure product. Very, uh, very uh, um, uh, sales guys are very excited about what that product brings in terms of providing an all-in-one capability uh, to sell AppAssure. We refreshed the Commvault version of our DL product, so we continue to partner with them on the higher version of our disk-based uh, backup library. And, uh, and then we've also uh, did some announcements around um, our Quest software, uh, NetVault 9.0, and uh, some of its new features with integrating with the extended architecture. So very broad announce for us on the uh, data protection, data management side. What I do think it's about is making sure we're meeting the customer needs in the segments we're trying to address, right? So, so PowerVault, for example, uh, has a very big range of customers, but each of those customers share some common things. They're very uh, they're very cost conscious. They're they're desiring performance at a reasonable price. They they like the product because it ties very well to our PowerEd server line with common drives and common management tools. So uh, you know that that product has a very strong following in terms of customers who are very focused on those things. Whether they're SMB customers or even larger customers looking to deploy uh, very cost effective storage through their organization. So I think you know we're going to keep focused on meeting customer needs. You know, if you look at Compellent, it really meets the needs of our higher end enterprise customers with all the features and latest uh, capabilities and very you know a, a lot of R and D investments into having leading edge or differentiating features in that product. Um, and we'll continue to move those features down uh, as it you know over time and making sure that there's a broad feature set across the portfolio. We want to make sure the the customer needs are the number one priority as we look at how we position each of these products.